So next up on video marketing campaigns, we've got Jeremiah Garner. Hello everyone. Hope everyone's doing pretty good. So I have a lot to say. Um, there was a lot of stuff that was already said, which is great. So what I just what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a step back and uh, I want to start off by taking a macro view of this whole marketing thing, uh, and uh, so that way we can step in with. Uh, what is video content, why we want to do video content, and so on and so forth. So first of all, um, I am a content creator, meaning I make pictures, images, flyers, any kind of content that you can think of. That's that's what I've been doing for about 15 years now. And um, I, I would say I have a, a fair amount of experience in specifically in the uh, marketing aspect. That's where a lot of what my uh, experience has been in is developing content for advertising and marketing per, uh, purposes. The uh, I'm the director of Untamed Productions. Uh, similarly, we're a production company where we develop content uh, for all sorts of reasons, mainly, again, marketing purposes. So um, let's just take a quick step back and uh, just take a macro view of this marketing. Essentially, you have um, a couple different components and you've got you so you've got ads and then you've got like landing pages and then you have you know various different uh conversion uh profiles now essentially what all of these different um or not different but what all of these journeys are supposed to be doing uh the whole reason that we do this marketing advertising in the first place is to convey a message It's to or in other words to tell a story um you know it can be as simple as you know i've got this t-shirt that i'm selling 50 percent off i want the world to know about it right that's a very simple common story or message that we want to uh put out there to our uh, community or put out there to our marketing base. So essentially that is uh, what I do is tell stories. In fact, that's where I take a lot of, um, a lot of what we do is everything that we create, everything that we um, build, whether if it, whether it's the social media, whether, you know, we do uh, our, our organic, posts um as uh, leandra was talking about it's all focused on what is the story what is the message that we're trying to say right and that's that's really if you break it all down that is really what we're trying to do and my philosophy is tell the message that you want to tell in the most straightforward way as possible in the most simple way as possible because the more complex your message is or at least the more complicated your uh, delivery of this message the more friction you're going to have and of course we live in a world where people uh, are, are uh, customer base wants as little friction as possible and they don't want to have to hunt down that uh hunt down your phone number, hunt down a way to get the get the thing that they're excited about, the message that you're putting out to the world. So um, what does this have to do with a video content or video marketing? Well, the reality is, um, you know, uh, Pepper said, you know, video is king, which, you know, in a lot of aspects, it, it most definitely is. Now, I would like to, I would like to say video is not better than, you know, banners or photos um, or, or, or any other kind of uh, media you can think of. It is, it is um, a, sp a different specific way to convey a message. Now, one of the biggest, strongest uh, s things that video has for their messages or for their, uh, that they have going for themselves is the ability to tell a story and ha most importantly, have a story or a message uh, develop and and progress and change. Uh, that's really one of the reasons why the biggest industry in arts right now is motion picture, it's movies. Everybody loves movies. Uh, billions and billions of dollars are being spent 
uh, just so people can consume this media of motion picture, of videos. And really fundamentally, the reason for that is because with video, it is the most effective way to tell that story. Now, of course, you know, imagery and, um, and, and text and graphics, illustrations, those are definitely great things that are very relevant to specific um, uh, marketing campaigns, but but again, video is really effective and really powerful when it comes to telling a story. So, with that being said, I would like to step out again, and I'm going to share my screen. If you could give me a moment, it's probably going to take me about ten seconds. Uh, let's see, which one do I want? I want to do this one. Okay, so I've got this little article that I put up. And uh, basically, uh, you can you can just Google. Uh, I just Googled um, Apple's uh, what? How much money did Apple spend on advertising? And uh, it's a ridiculous number. Of course, they're a ridiculously wealthy company. And you're probably thinking, well, you know, we're not even in the same market. They're a, a huge worldwide uh, corporation. I'm a small business. What does this have anything to do with me? Well, quite frankly it has everything to do with you because believe it or not, a few decades ago or whatever the number is, Apple was a small business. It was a small company. Same thing with uh, McDonald's, same thing with Samsung. All of these companies at one point were small companies. And eventually these companies doing whatever they did, they transitioned from these small companies to these large giant uh monopoly companies that just control everything. And here is the reality of what they did. They prioritized their marketing. They put it at a, a and not, not just advertising, but marketing and branding, and they prioritized their image. And I think all of us can agree, whether you like Apple or not, I'm particularly not an Apple fan, but whether you like Apple or not, uh, I think we can all agree that Apple has probably one of the most solid branding in all of history. Um, they're iconic, they're worldwide, and quite frankly, they built their entire company on telling a story, on telling a message. And um, there was this little uh, advertisement. I don't know if any of you have seen this commercial. Uh, I think it was in the early 90s, maybe late 80s. I can't, I can't exactly remember. But uh, this, this video commercial um, was huge. And it's incredible because they were able to, you know, make themselves look cool. The whole idea of the commercial was you need an iPhone or you need our, our, our I think I mean, they didn't have iPhones back then, but you need a, you need a, a, our computers because, well, do you want to be cool? Are you cool? Right? So it all comes down to the messaging and the story and all of these companies, uh, you know, these big giant mammoth companies have la uh, are where they are because they prioritized their branding and their marketing and who they are aesthetically as a as a company so that's why it's relevant to you because one of the things that i like to do is well look at the big dogs what what are they doing for business because really business strategies are business strategies yeah there's you know differences different industries and uh nuance but really fundamentally business is business and offers a lot of uh you know similarity so all this to say what are the big dogs doing? How are they presenting themselves? What are they prioritizing their their income stream with uh, their um, you know marketing budget? You know what what are they doing? And uh, you know in a much lower scale to uh, to our our small businesses, that's we should you know copy that and copy the flow. Like you know uh, one example, Google. Uh, they believe it or not, they actually are pushing the aesthetic looks of what logos are today. And I don't have, I wish I had a couple examples, but if you looked at um, old companies and you looked at the evolution of their aesthetic logos, you will see them changing throughout time naturally. Um, what Google is doing is they're the ones who have single-handedly pushed what we now see uh, most commonly, which are these very flat, uh, very uh, uh, atonal or single tonal uh, logos, two-dimensional things. Google is the person who did that. And 
uh, you know, nowadays everyone's like, oh yeah, I like that look. I like, you know, the flat, uh, very simple graphic kind of stuff. So that's a good example of following the big dogs is this is the aesthetic look they're having and this is what we want to follow. So very, very simple general way of making that happen. So let's go back into talking about video marketing. I've got uh, a couple, I've got a couple examples uh, that I want to show you. Now they're not videos. I do have one video that I'll play at the end, but they're not videos. Uh, they're images, but we know videos, they're called movies, which is kind of short for moving pictures, right? So um, aesthetically speaking, a lot of what you see in photographs can be extrapolated and put into motion pictures. So essentially what I do is, oh, I'm sorry, I have to share my screen. I didn't realize I didn't unshare it. Give me one moment application. There it is. Okay, perfect. So as a as a content creator, my main goal is to display that message, display what you look like, how you look in the most beautiful and cool, edgy, whatever kind of uh, word info you're trying to portray, display that in that particular way. So uh, I can really quickly scroll through here. And a lot of these images uh, that my company is, uh, was involved in making really tell stories and really make things appetizable. Like, like you look at this picture and you're like, oh, wow, that's really good. Okay, now I'm going to end uh, my message with a little video that uh, we created for ourselves just to kind of, it was a fun video that we made to, uh, you know, just a little advertising. And this is actually pretty old. Uh, we made this before the pan or during the pandemic. And, um, but I, I, I really like it. So if you will indulge me, I'm going to go ahead and play it. What makes Untamed Productions awesome? Well, perhaps it is our highly trained video production team that's capable of handling any kind of production you throw at them. Do you need a video ad to stir up some social media buzz? What about a powerful TV commercial specifically designed to increase sales? No problem. So what else? Well, others might say there's our team of digital illustrators that are capable of designing beautiful illustrations that can give your website or anything else the design you're looking for. Well, what about motion graphics? Our team of animators excel in adding that extra touch of movement to your video. Whether they build a fully animated scene or simply displaying information with tasteful graphics, they've got you covered. Of course, you can't forget about sound. When it comes to sound design for the videos, radio, podcasts, or anything else, it is essential for our sound designers to capture and design the best audio quality possible. So yeah, we make some pretty great stuff, and that's awesome. But what's the best thing about Untamed Productions? Well, it's what you do with the stuff. That's why creating and tailoring the most optimized content for our clients is what we strive for the most. Let's go make something great. So the message that I want to end with today, the, the, the takeaway that I want you to have is let's build a story. You know, whatever it is you're doing, whatever social media you have, whatever way you're reaching out to the community, re, re, break off or it should all stem from what are you trying to say and how can I say that in the most simplest way. And I've got my little timer and I can see I'm out of time. So thank you so much. And I hope that was helpful.